Bye. Welcome to my channel Tech for today. We will be discussing about incident response. What is the role of incident response in cyber security and how it is related with SOC. Incident response is a step by step approach to handle various types of security incidents or cyber threat. Post the SOC list investigated the logs from SIEM. Once he confirms it is true positive or a compromised attack has happened, he will forward the necessary details to the incident responder who will be executing a series of steps that is described. That means preparation, identification, containment, eradication, recovery lessons learned. So incident responder will study the incidents in a thorough manner. Then he will evaluate the current security measures and the policies which are present in our organization. Then he will try to do in-depth analysis. We can say like some kind of forensics he will do with the help of multiple security tools and he will understand how the attack has happened especially from which IP or whether it is a phishing attack or what is the cause of the cyber attack he will investigate then he will understand whether any kind of lateral movement or pivoting has happened suppose if one server got compromised is there infected only in that server or is there any chance it will get propagated to next server so likewise he will do a thorough understanding by inspecting the logs as well as the events from different security tools if necessary he will go with containment containment means isolating the host from the network it can be achieved by the endpoint security technology suppose if multiple servers under a vlan got compromised then the responder will go ahead with vlan isolation post that the eradication phase start he will try to isolate or clear the issues from the affected systems like mainly eliminating the malware and all then the important phase is to recover the data but the problem is like suppose a critical server got compromised even there is successful backup also there is no assurance that 100% data can be recovered then comes the lessons learned that means post the entire activity has been completed then they will understand or view how the attack has happened what is the fault in the network so they will understand and they will try to fix the issue to make sure same kind of attack will not happen in future so these are the major steps the incident responder will follow during a cyber incident then comes the preparation of incident response report this is a crucial thing post the incident response action plan has been successfully executed here the incident responder and the team should prepare a good report and that will be forwarded to the hire management this will include the entire details about the attack how the attack has happened what we have done how we have rectified this issue and all this is a critical report and it is mandatory post every incident response plan of action has been done then we need to know the small difference between SOC and list and incident responder SOC and list is mainly they will monitor analyze the abnormal behaviors or security threats which are happening in our infrastructure once they confirm 
it's a attack and then the incident responder will come into picture they will respond to the incident and they will rectify and the problem is like if the soca soca list took some time to identify it's a true positive alert then the possibility of spreading the attack in our infrastructure is high so the initial analysis as well as the monitoring should be done in a faster note so that incident responder can come into action and they can rectify and resolve the issue by this my tutorial lens for the day thank you all